September 29th, 2024. How's it going, guys? Well, I got another video for you. What are we going to talk about? Kansas City, Independence, Missouri. We're going to talk about crime, drugs, homeless, and prostitution. Since Friday, a lot of things have been going on. A lot of stuff going on. And uh, are things getting better in Kansas City? Uh not really. It's getting worse. And uh, <laughs> where should we begin? I'm going to go between Friday and Sunday tonight. And I'm going to show several, several different things here. But I'm going to start out with Saturday morning going to McDonald's. Down here on 23rd Street in Nolan. Now, that's not the one. It, that's usually a pretty good place to go eat. But you don't know what's coming inside there, what stuff's going on. And uh, the one down there off 291 and 40, though, man. I mean, uh, you know, that's where I got the biscuit somebody munched on. So don't recommend that place at all. Never heard back from corporate either. Hmm, that's kind of interesting, isn't it? Well, anyway, let's get on with this. Got lots of things to show here in Kansas City, and it's not looking good, guys. Okay, guys, let's start out Saturday morning at McDonald's down here, 23rd and Nolan. Now, me and my son, we went in. I got me a big breakfast. I think he got him a, I don't know, a, some kind of biscuit or something. But uh, the thing of this is, we're sitting there, and there's a lot of different kind of people in here. We got homeless people. We got people from all different countries in here, from all around the world. And then we got this black uh, gentleman and lady that all of a sudden starts yelling, screaming, and becomes a conflict with one of the employees there at McDonald's. And they're both like holding phones to one another, filming each other like they're going to pull out a gun and shoot one another. Not good. Because, I mean, you know, the thing of this is, <laughs> you got to watch. And you got to be ready. So if something does break out, definitely. Because this becomes a very dangerous situation. Now, we had one Latin gentleman who was off to the, our right that was eat well he wasn't eating actually he was doing nothing he was sitting there and another guy met up with him both of them looking like they were about 20 to 25 years of age what caught my eye about this was this guy was laughing about it and i've come across people all over kansas city that i've seen crazy things like this lately happening and it's not a, it's not like it's just a, a funny joke deal these people actually get pleasure in seeing people, you know, as pain or destruction or anything else. I'll give you one example. There was a uh, lady that was up at Aldi's that didn't have much money, and she had bought a gallon of milk, and uh, she was getting her groceries off to one side, and uh, she dropped the milk, and this one cash register lady at this Aldi's up here at 40, she just thought it was just so funny, she just kept on laughing. And, I mean, they didn't offer another gallon of milk. She just thought it was just hilarious. I mean, these are the kind of people we're dealing with, but there's a lot ruthless more than that. We have ex-cons in here. We have people that they let out of prison in here. So this is something everybody needs to be aware of and be watching. Now, I'm going to play just this audio a little bit so you can video a little bit so you can hear. And they do get pretty wild on this. But what I even couldn't get even more this lady offered this person a refund and they just kept going on so i don't get this she said she was going to call the police if, yeah well it would be too late in minutes it would be at least <laughs> five minutes or better before they got there to be over not good and this was a Latin gentleman, one of them, and there was another one right there. And they thought it was, like I say, the guy in the gray was the one that was laughing. 
And then this guy, he put his hood on. They were saying things. And I don't know. I didn't like the, the deal. But they also had two women that were with them, too. And uh, what I found really interesting about this was they were all working all four corners of the inside of the deal uh, of McDonald's. They were in different locations. The guy in the hoodie was into the front of the right side corner of McDonald's. The other guy was sitting on this deal. And the, the other two ladies were off the other side. So we didn't even know if these people were with them. I mean, were they going to rob the place? Were they going to do? You don't know. You know, and it becomes a dangerous situation. But I wanted to show that. And this was Saturday morning. This is Kansas City. This is Independence, Missouri. Not good. So hold on, guys. Now, this was just tonight, Sunday night. We were up in North Kansas City. Coming back down the main drag down here. It's down up by the hospital about a halfway about a half mile up to Choteau Bridge up here. But this guy is riding in the wrong lane, not riding going with traffic, riding against the traffic, head on. And uh, I don't know. It just makes me wonder. Now, we've had, there's been lots of incidents I want to talk about too this last week that I go to the zoo, I film a lot and stuff. And uh, tensions are high between all different races and nationalities. And uh, I was actually walking up the hill up there over the bridge. Well, two days in a row, I come across some problems. There was this one group that had some, uh, it looked like Haitians, uh, uh, teenagers. And they were going down over actually the bridge and uh, this uh, one it looked like a, it was a white teacher. He said, uh, "He said, you know, you're supposed to told 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 them that they were supposed to walk on the right side of, you know, basically that would be here in the United States. That's how they do." And they just kind of smirked at her and and spit on the ground. And uh, I thought, "Whoa, man, you know, all these people want to come over here to this country, but they all want to tear it apart." I don't know. But now this was just Sunday night here, and I'm just thinking, well, you know, you know, maybe somebody should look at this. And uh, surely you didn't have a, a little baby kid wrapped up in that blanket. I hope not. I mean, that'd even be worse now, wouldn't it? But this is up here in North Kansas City, here right across from North Kansas City Hospital. Interesting, guys. Hold on. Okay, let's move on till Friday morning. Went out, did an early run. This was at 4.30 a.m., back behind where Toys R Us is, back where that road is, kind of by Honey Bay Cam. It goes over into where uh, Harbor Freight and all those other businesses and stuff are, where those 18-wheelers park by that apartment complex. And this person here, actually, uh, like I say, it's kind of a little bit blurry, but this is a brand new, kind of almost look like a brand new bike. But this person had a, it looked like a tow rope wrapped around it, trying to pull it across. And I thought, well, why would you have a tow? You know, first I thought, man, what is this? I mean, does this, you know, what is this? First I thought, that's, that's just weird. But then it dawned on me. Maybe, maybe somebody was stealing this bike and they had a chain or something locked around the spokes and, and this person was dragging it. And uh, I will see this person later. And guess you ain't going to believe where I've seen this person at. Saturday morning as we is coming out of McDonald's. Yeah. So not counting that this person is a homeless person and do, maybe doing other bad stuff. They're making a lot of, lot of getting around pretty good now, aren't they? To go from almost 40 Highway in Nolan all the way down to 23rd in Nolan. They're covering pretty good areas. And now I talk about these homeless also that are dealing the drugs and other different things. Not good, guys. Because there's a lot of stuff going on here. And they're, and they're using some of these homeless people to move the drugs also. I mean, so they, they're not just sitting in these Escalades or they're 
Audis or BMWs like I show up here at Toys R Us or Gordman's or the rest in those parking lots, but they're using them too. They're utilizing all these people to be able to move this stuff. So I'm going to show this person. And I just thought, and to me, you see this rail right here. Like I say, it was glary. But the thing of this was, what got to me, it looked like this got painted. Like maybe they painted the back part of this. And I'm going to show it. So hold on. All right. So after the incident at McDonald's Saturday morning and we were pulling out, <laughs> I thought, oh my God, here we go, man. I mean, it's like being in a big uh, uh, pool of something. We'll just put it that way. And it's not a good pool to be in. But this is, this is a person that I seen at 4.30 a.m. up on that side road by the apartments, by where the 18-wheeler was on that side road with this bike. But it doesn't, it, it's not shiny here no more. But this is the same bike because this, this here is. It's like maybe, I don't know. Now, I don't know if it was just because the headlights reflected off it so much it looked more silvery. But that's the bike and that's the person. I seen the person's face when I went by. And that is the person. But I was thinking, man, you know, they're getting around. That's pretty good. That's pretty good distance to go from all the way up almost on 40 Highway. All the way down here, almost 23rd down here by this McDonald's. Where they weren't going to McDonald's. They were on that side road before you get to 23rd turning down it. But this happened, like I say, this was a Saturday morning. And I seen this person a uh, Friday morning with a, uh, like I say, uh, like a toe strap trying to drag this bike. So if anybody's missing this bike, they might be looking in this area or look for this person. Because that's probably, that's who's got your bike now. Anyway, hold on. Oh yeah, and I'll get back to here. This was the lady that was holding the phone. The gentleman was on the other side of her. And the, like I say, the other employee had a phone pointed at her. This was at McDonald's. I wanted to show this. Interesting, huh, guys? Oh, and I don't want to forget this. As we come back Saturday morning, down Nolan Road, there was this other black Two black individuals. And this guy, I want you guys to see this. This was just funky. Funky. He's a, uh, puts his hood up, but he's boxing like he's boxing. Now, this is Kansas City. Look at this. Look at this. Punch, 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 punch. Well, if you come into Kansas City or Independence, this is what you're going to deal with. So you better be on your toes. And I mean, you better be on your toes. So hold on. Oh yeah, guys, I was gonna show this. This is the same vehicle that guy punching coming up behind us. And uh, what I was gonna show here was uh, also uh, the Sonic. They finally uh, put a fence around it because the homeless were over there trying to kind of live in that area as a shelter. Isn't that something? So hold on. I want to show this real quick here. This was Saturday morning. This is Independence, Missouri. Ah! Oh, yeah. Looking good, right, guys? But hold on. See, because these people, a lot of these people, they want the drugs. They want the crime. They want, they want the chaos. So, I mean, you know, they, you know, you got people here said, oh, they're trying to do better. A lot of these people aren't trying to do better. They, they want this, you know, this is just nuts. And they're not going to show right there. There's a, they put a fence up around it, guys. Which is good. Maybe they'll rebuild it. Man, I was thinking about getting a shake while back there and, no, there ain't hardly no good Sonics left to go to anymore here. And they got rid of the one up on 40 Highway. See that guy punching? Yeah, there you go. Hold on. Oh, yeah, guys. 
and uh, Saturday night. Come back from Worlds of Fun. And this was interesting again. There's two people here. There's a gal that kind of looked like, kind of looked like Harley Quinn. Had that Harley Quinn like hairdo going on. And this guy, he actually had a samurai sword. Yeah, samurai sword. So as you come off here on 23rd Street, northbound, be aware. You know, if they, they, I wouldn't uh, be uh, rolling my window down with the guy holding the samurai sword here off the ramp. As I mean, they are on this other side, but, you know, there you go again, though, too. I don't, I don't know. I mean, you know, they get around pretty good. And then the other ones are kind of made up like Harley Quinn. I hope they haven't watched uh, too many of those shows. <laughs> Hold on, guys. There's a little bit better view of it right there. He had it in a sheath. But it was a samurai sword. You can see it kind of curved there and stuff. And Harley was down over here. <laughs> Hold on, guys. This was a couple more of them coming down just as we passed through. The light went on through. I wanted you guys to see that, too. So, hold on. Oh, yeah, guys. I mean, there's so much that goes on here. And uh, this is my uh, 4.30 a.m. run through Quick Trip. But, you know, this one area kind of bugs me. Now, I know there's no employees that park over here. But I don't think this is always employees because there's always a vehicle. Now... You see this vehicle right here? Let's see if I can uh, lighten it up. Hold on. All right, that's a little bit better. Now, this vehicle, there's a guy sitting in it. Now, the problem of this is, I see other vehicles that sit over here that deal. They're not, they're not employees. They deal. They deal drugs and other stuff going on. And... Uh, I don't know. I just thought this was kind of interesting. 4.30 a.m. This guy's sitting in this vehicle. Same location. Same spot. Same location. Same spot. Same location. It doesn't matter. And Kansas City is getting an uptick again of a lot of these trucks. I know some U-Haul, some of the ones the homeless are living out of. They're even back over on my street in my area back over here running again. So something independent might be needing to look at. i seen this. Now, this could have been, I didn't see anybody in this vehicle. So this could have been somebody just, uh, you know, traveling through. I mean, we do have some people travel through that are normal, you know, and they're not wanting to do all that other stuff. But this kind of made me kind of wonder because when we came back through tonight, there was something, uh, I don't know if it was a, look almost like kind of like a Cadillac. But you couldn't miss this, guys, if you're Independence Police because both fenders are different colors. Yeah, it's, uh, I don't know, there's a, I don't know, it's blue or gray on both sides of the fenders. And the rest of the car is all, and it's like a, it looks like, kind of like a Cadillac. And there was a guy, black guy sitting over there. But this wasn't, like you say, this was a white guy here. And he was sitting in here. Now, I would think if it was an employee at 4.30 a.m., he'd probably be inside talking, shooting the bull with the other ones. I wouldn't think he'd just be sitting out in his vehicle. With you guys? I don't know. Maybe nothing. Maybe nothing. Hold on. All right, guys. I wanted to show this in the actual footage of at 4.30 a.m. Friday when I drove down around out here. And there's a lot of stuff going on. But this is what I want you guys to see what I've seen. I mean, you make your own thoughts on this. 4.30 a.m. Now, you got to understand this area. Now, there's the person right there. There's the bike, and they have a strap. A to like a, it's got some kind of like a toe strap. And they got around the body, and they're dragging this bike. And at first, I thought, first I thought maybe it was a ribbon or something. But this, this person was pulling the bike across there. I don't think it was a ribbon. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, something else was going on. And, uh, and there it is right there. And they and they they even go in between the, over here at this Harbor Freight. Some of these people hang out in Harbor Freight. Not good. Yeah, there's been other stuff that's going on there too we'll talk about. But we're going to go on from here. But I wanted to show that.
And I'm just going to back this up and I'm just going to go on through it. But this is what crawls around over here in Independence. And this goes on all night long. All night long. Well, I hear bikers revving. They're revving right now going up the street. Isn't that something? Well, they like that. They bring that drugs in down on 40. Some got to pay for those Harleys, right, guys? But, uh, I don't know. I wanted to show that. So hold on. All right, guys, I'm back. And I also want to talk about the zoo for a couple more minutes, too. Uh, like I said, there's been a couple incidents last week. Uh, I usually have my body camera on me at all times. I uh, use it most of the time there to film the animals when I run out on my uh, cell phone. But there was another incident. There was also another uh, group that was coming down through there. And I, I don't know if they get some of them, you know, they, I know they have all different schools, different places, but some of these, I mean, are almost full grown adults, okay? And there was uh, some uh, blacks that was coming down in this other group. And uh, what was interesting was, uh, there was a Kansas City, Missouri uh, policeman on one of, there's there a lot of them there, a lot of them I wave at, talk to sometimes. But, uh, there was this one big, can't see Missouri cop, he's at the top of the hill, he's watching this group. They also had a nice boom box, which is supposed to be not legal to have in it there. You're not supposed to be booming music. And uh, this uh, black guy coming toward me. Well, I put my, I put my uh, cell phone in my pocket because I didn't know what he was going to do. But he was with this group. And... Uh, he did, he did say a couple things to me. I said something to him, and uh, we, he, he moved and went on. I was in the right lane. Seems like all these ones over, some of these, they all want to be in the other lane. They just take over. It's just, I don't know. But the police officer was watching to see what he would do. And he was watching me, too, because as I was coming up, and I had it, like I say. But there's a lot of unrest. So even if you go to the Kansas City Zoo... Stay on your toes, guys, because there's a lot going on. And there's a lot of these groups that like to see chaos and lots of bad things. Uh, I notice a lot of these groups, too, their MOs, they like to attack people from behind. Don't matter if you're young. Don't matter if you're old. But they like coming after the neck and behind. So if you see people approaching from behind, you might want to kind of look a little bit more, watch a little bit better on stuff. Because... They don't play by the rules here. The, some of these people that's doing the stuff that they're doing. And that's figure that's how they figure they'll win. And uh, you know, the thing of it is it'll come to a point where, you know, people, if it's you or them and they're gonna try to take your life, then you can defend yourself, you know, in that case. But I wanted to get that out there. It's getting more dicey, guys. Not looking good. Like I say, I passed a lot. Oh, I think I forgot to show that. I'll see if I can find it tomorrow. If I can, I'll post it uh, about 40 highway. There was a massive amount of them on Friday. So I'll get that out to you guys, let you see it. But uh, there was some homeless, there was some homeless hooker gals going down 40 Friday in the daytime. This was after I come back from the zoo. So I will be showing that too down the line here. So uh, keep your eyes open. And... Uh, Stay safe out there.